Hello, my name is Sarah Bowen. I am the artist behind the sculpture entitled Blue. This audio description accompanies the piece to make it further accessible for those with vision loss and to offer more details to anyone who listens. The visuals happening on screen during this description are a collection of images of the work. If you'd like to use this audio tour to accompany the tactile experience, please begin on the front of the piece. The base of this sculpture is a plaster cast of my own right hand in the ASL hand shape of the letter B. It is painted in a monotone blue with realistic shading and highlights and shiny deep blue nails. It is adorned with various smaller polymer clay sculptures. Towards the exterior of the palm are two small round blue buttons seemingly affixed with white thread. Stuck as they are, one a full button space above the other, they create the braille letter B. Moving on and towards the thumb and interior palm and around towards the back of the hand, you will find a large cluster of barnacles. They are all shaped like clams and have openings painted dark and textured exteriors painted to show a bit of light reflection. Like everything on this piece, they are painted in shades of blue. Now, up and onto the bend of the thumb, a burrowing beetle sits atop the nail and finger, facing out. It is oblong and painted very dark, with lighter splotchy spots on the back and head. It has little pinchers and textured legs, and antennae made of wire topped with small light-colored spots. These beetles are bouncing back from near extinction and can be found here in Oklahoma. On the highest point of the sculpture, the tip of the middle finger, sits Oklahoma's state butterfly, the black swallowtail. It is painted a very dark and shiny blue, and the top sides of the wings are covered in delicate details. You can see and feel the indented segmentation on the wings and the raised bumps of bright blue along their outside. There is also a bumpy texture of dotted bright blue forming a rough line across the large wing pieces, with a bumpy bright medium blue beneath it. The body of the butterfly is roughly textured and segmented, with two bright blue spots per segment. Its head sports shiny black eyes, a curly clay proboscis, and long wire antenna. The clay used for these pieces remains flexible after it is baked, so you can move the wings as a butterfly would. Along the outside of the hand, starting at the fingertips and going nearly to the wrist, you will find a number of Oklahoma wildflowers. Largest among them, and topmost on the tip of the pinky finger, is the blanket flower. Its thin and numerous petals are painted dark blue and are each tipped with a brighter blue hue. The interior of the flower is rough and dark, with a small circle of brighter blue towards the middle. Moving down, there is a clump of four buttercup flowers. Where the blanket flower was mostly flat, you'll find these petals curve upward and are far more spaced out, each flower having only five. They are painted in a light bright blue, gradually growing darker towards the tips. The stamen of this flower are long and thin, tiny flexible clay tubes are a medium blue with bright tips. There are two more blanket flowers on the way down to the final native species, a blackberry flower. This is the brightest among them, painted nearly white with five broad petals, each shaped vaguely like a heart and cupped down towards the middle. The center of the flower is full of medium blue pointy stamen with dark blue tips. You can wiggle them like you're a pollinator yourself. Nestled next to the blackberry flowers are the fruit of the same plant, bright and juicy and seemingly ready to eat. Each segment of the blackberry is painted in a deep dark blue complete with shadows and highlights. They are not complete fruits, as a quarter of them has been removed so that they can sit flush against the outside of the hand. Moving on and around the back side of the hand, a large rough structure covers the middle and moves up towards the knuckles. This is the bark of the river birch tree. These trees are native to Oklahoma and nostalgic to me personally. The bark sheds in a thin, iconic curl, revealing a brighter color underneath. The sculptural version here is painted in all shades of blue, the brightest being the exposed interior and the darkest being the tips of the highly textured bark that seemingly peels from the main structure. There is a crevice between the bright base and some of the extruding bark large enough to fit a fingertip. Visually from a distance, this element might be mistaken as a cascading waterfall, as the bright interior color seems to flow down towards the wrist. Upon the knuckle of the pointer finger rests another blanket flower in mid-pollination. An eastern bumblebee sits in an angle with its large rear facing the butterfly above it, complete with stinger. Its face is nestled into the middle of the flower, wire antenna pointed down. The thin, flexible wings are the widest blue, with tactile and visible lines adding detail. 
The medium and dark blue stripes of the body are highly textured to appear furry and the eyes are a shiny black. This concludes the audio description of my work. I hope you enjoyed this multi-sensory experience of blue. I encourage you to notice the world around you in just as much detail as you move forward with your day. Thank you.